National Archives building in Washington come the original Japanese surrender documents, those signed aboard the battleship Missouri in Tokyo Bay. Even as these historic papers arrived, other Japanese surrenders throughout the doomed empire were taking place. From Chikyang come first pictures of the enemy's surrender in China. A Japanese plane arrives at this Allied air base. Headed by General Takeo Imai, Japanese Deputy Chief of Staff, the delegation goes to Chinese headquarters. General Xiao Yi Shu receives the Japanese. Full lists of enemy garrisons and equipment in China are turned over. Eight terrible years of struggle are over at last for China, as these preliminaries lead to full and final capitulation in ravaged Nanking. Now, liberation. At Nissan Camp Number 2 outside Tokyo, the United States Navy shore boat heads for prisoners of war free at last from brutality, starvation, and torture. At infamous Omori prison camp, many other allied prisoners are freed. Here and at other camps, nearly 10,000 prisoners were held captive, but not registered with the Red Cross, nor allowed to be visited by neutral representatives. Surrender of Marcus Island, 1,200 miles from Tokyo. Defeated Japanese officers, headed by Rear Admiral Matsubara, come aboard the USS Bagley. Matsubara announced that most of his men, isolated on the island which American forces bypassed on the way to Tokyo, are ill and badly fed. Marcus gives up. <laughs> Surrender of Truk, once reputed to be the mightiest of Japanese bases. Now, without a fight, Lieutenant General Sadai Inoue surrenders aboard the U.S. cruiser Portland. Through a misty rain to Governor's House in Baguio, from the Caraballo Mountains of Luzon, comes another Japanese surrender mission. The last enemy forces in the Philippine Islands formally surrender. Samurai swords are taken. Also, from the delegates' pockets, several fountain pen pistols and a live hand grenade. General Yamashita, who once bore the resounding name of Tiger of Malaya. In the early days of Japanese conquest, his forces took Singapore. Later, he was given command in the Philippines. An officer reminds Yamashita to remain standing until ordered to sit down. The American delegation enters, headed by Lieutenant General W.D. Steyer. With them is Lieutenant General Percival, who surrendered to Yamashita at Singapore. General Jonathan Wainwright of Corregidor also is present. As the terms are read and the 40,000 Japanese troops still alive in the Philippines are surrendered. Major General Levy signs for the United States and United Nations. MPs take charge of the Japanese, now prisoners of war. His days of glory ended. Yamashita takes his copy of the document and goes with his guards. The enemy party is taken to New Bilibid prison in Manila. Here, many previously captured Japanese are already interned. Yamashita is registered in a cell in Bilibid prison he will have ample time to reflect on his former bloody triumphs. In 
Oslo, Norway, an arch criminal is brought to justice. Correspondents from all over the world are present on the last day of a significant war trial. The Nazi Premier of Norway, Major Vitkun Quisling, having been duly tried for treason, is brought in from his jail cell to the Court of Justice to hear the final verdict. Previous testimony had shown, among other acts of treason, that Quisling had actually helped plan the German invasion of Norway, then urged the Germans to carry it out. The courtroom stands as the seven judges file in. For willfully betraying his country, for accepting German pay for the betrayal, for causing the murder of hundreds of his countrymen, Quisling is sentenced to death. A last appeal is granted. But of the guilt of the man whose very name has come to mean traitor, there can be no doubt. Vienna, Austria's ancient capital on the shores of the Danube. Through the great city, cleansed of the Nazis, parade troops of Russia, Britain, France, and the United States. As in Berlin, the four powers will jointly occupy the city. The Allied representatives, including General Mark Clark, watch the formal entry of their troops. Displaced persons continue to straggle into a hungry city. Despite all available aid, a hard winter lies ahead for Vienna's people. Vienna Hotel comes an almost legendary figure, Vaslav Nijinsky, once the world's greatest ballet dancer. Insane for 27 years, he makes his first public appearance in these pictures. The four allies begin the difficult task of governing another liberated country. of three and a half years of grueling fighting as men of the United States 1st Cavalry Division enter Tokyo, capital of Japan. Despite an outwardly friendly reception, full battle equipment is the order of the day. Embassy comes General of the Army Douglas MacArthur, Supreme Allied Commander. With a simple ceremony, Tokyo's formal occupation has begun. Mission completed and the final victory achieved.